Hi everybody, I'm going to read you a book that is about courage. And this is a story about a child who is true to herself and by being true to herself she allows others to learn how to be brave and strong and show courage. The book is called I Am Jazz. I am jazz. For as long as I can remember, my favorite color has been pink. My second favorite color is silver, and my third favorite color is green. Here are some of the other favorite things. Dancing, singing, backflips, drawing, soccer, swimming, makeup, and pretending I'm a pop star. Most of all, I love mermaids. Sometimes I even wear a mermaid tail in the pool. My best friends are Samantha and Casey. We always have fun together. We like high heels and princess gowns or cartwheels and trampolines. But I'm not exactly like Samantha and Casey. I have a girl brain, but I have a boy body. This is called transgender. I was born this way. When I was very little and my mom would say, you're such a good boy, I would say, no mama, good girl. At first, my family was confused. They'd always thought of me as a boy. As I got a little older, I hardly ever played with trucks or, or tools or superheroes, only princesses and mermaids and costumes. My brothers told me that this was girl stuff. I kept right on playing. At Northwest School, we talk about how there aren't boy toys or girl toys. They're just toys. But in this book, for this student, she's learning about how to be brave when people used to think there were boy toys and girl toys. My sister says I always, my sister says I was always talking to her about my girl thoughts and my girl dreams and how one day I would be a beautiful lady. She would giggle and say, you're a funny kid. Sometimes my parents let me wear my sister's dresses around the house, but whenever we went out, I had to put on my boy clothes again. This made me mad. Still, I never gave up trying to convince them. Pretending I was a boy felt like I was telling a lie. Then one amazing day, everything changed. Mom and Dad took me to meet a new doctor who asked me lots and lots and lots of questions. Afterward, the doctor spoke to my parents and I heard the word transgender for the very first time. That night at bedtime, my, par my parents both hugged me and said, we understand now, be who you are, we love you no matter what. This made me smile and smile and smile. Mom and Dad told me I could start wearing girl clothes to school and growing my hair long. They even let me change my name to Jazz. Being Jazz felt much more like being me. Mom said that being Jazz would make me different from the other kids at school, but that being different is okay. That's important, she said. Is that what is, what is important, she said, is that I'm happy with who I am. Being jazz caused some other people to be confused too, like the teachers at school. At the beginning of the year, they wanted me to use the boys' bathroom and play in the boys' team and gym class, but that didn't feel normal to me at all. I was so happy when the teachers changed their minds. I can't imagine not playing on the same team as Casey and Samantha. Even today, there are kids who tease me or call me by my boy name or ignore me altogether. This makes me feel crummy. Then I remember that the kids who get to know me usually want to be my friend. They say I'm one of the nicest girls at school. I don't mind being different. Different is special. I think what matters most is what a person is like on the inside. And inside, I'm happy. I'm having fun. I'm proud. I'm jazz. I think the important thing to remember about this book, though, is that Jazz was also very, very brave. And even though people were telling her that she needed to dress a certain way, she knew that that wasn't right for her. And by making sure that she was true to herself, she changed the way that the adults felt and understood children. So she made a huge difference.